Hello, 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 hello again. Welcome to TC Connor Photography's YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting, thank you for stopping in. If it's your second time and you've not subscribed, well, watch three or four more videos. Maybe you'll decide to subscribe. If you don't, that's fine too. If you want to keep watching this one, I appreciate it. We're going to do a unboxing of one of these. Except it's way better. And we're going to put it on one of these tripods. First, my old uh, little slicer I keep out in the garage. As you can see, I'm out in the garage here. I've had this since uh, May 11th. <laughs> and I've been waiting to unbox it because I wanted to unbox it with you guys. So it's a box in a box. And I'll take it out of the big box. Again, uh, I'm using my Insta360 Ace Pro with the onboard microphone just because I'm lazy and I don't want to, I don't feel like setting up all the other microphones. And uh, I think it's okay. The last video, the audio seemed to be okay. A little reverby, a little boomy, but that's okay. So, what we have here, folks. Is a KNF Concept three-way geared head tripod head, and if you don't know what a three-way geared tripod head is, welcome to the club. Because when I was researching and heard about them, I didn't know what they were either. And the further research told me that hey, man, this would be a whole lot better than this when it comes to putting heavy lenses because one small problem with these that aggravates me to no end is creep for instance you you got your uh, and I'm probably going to make a new video another video haven't decided if I'm going to add it to this one or not but I may uh, I may just unbox this uh, tell you a little bit about it, why, and then uh, and then um, add a video of me actually in the field using it because flowers are blooming, and when it's gardening season and flower season, I'm crazy about taking pictures of flowers. I act like it's the first time I've ever seen a flower, the first time I've ever had a camera, because I just, but I don't have a micro lens, so. I may be end up I may end up getting one of them. Maybe Santa Claus will bring me one this Christmas. We'll see. But the problem with these type of heads, I mean, I've used ball heads forever and ever and ever. This happens to be a, a Neewer that came with my uh, Neewer tripod here, which has been a great tripod. The head's been okay too, uh, although, uh, like I mentioned, the creep like you get your you get your camera on here you tighten it down and then the next thing you know you look in there and you, you think you have it good and tight and your lens creeps ever so slightly messing up the entire composition at least it messes up the entire composition for me may not for you but it's always bothered me ever since i've been using a tripod with um with ball heads so hopefully this KNF concept three-way geared head where you can see the unseen, I guess that's part of their logo, will help that creep, will stop it, will cease no more creep. And uh, we're going to take it out of the box there. What do we have here? Operating instructions which I may or may not need. Uh, here we have a plate, tripod plate, and it has one of the little um, handles, I guess you could say, that a grippy that folds and unfolds. Some of them just have 
the screw and you need to take a little you know, quarter or something to screw that, tighten that down. But I already have a tripod plate. Um, this one's bigger. So I've got tripod plates laying around. But we may use the k &F concept one that came with this. So here is the three-way geared head <laughs> in the styrofoam. Nice packaging, nice and protected. So we're going to get it out of here. There we go. Uh, I might, was a, might as well put this box out of the way too. And here is the head. Three way, one, two, three. <laughs> That's, you know, I guess you could say it's got three separate movements to the deal here. Um, three eighths inch screws right on to the tripod there, but first, before I screw it on, um, we're going to take a look at it here, uh, see what the, uh, what it says on the box, uh, warranty there on the box, uh, nothing uh, made in China, I was going to see if it listed the weight, I mean it's got some weight to it, although it is heftier than the, than the uh, regular ball head. It's, it's not much heftier, it's just bigger. Which I was, I knew, I knew it would be bigger. But as a matter of fact, my um, Canon RF70 to 200 already has a plate on the two, which is, to me, looks to be just the same size. So may not use this one, I just may not, just may keep this one on. Uh, mine that's on there has a little foldy out handle thing too. So that may become a spare tripod plate. And you know, you just, you know how the, you know, you know the, uh, you know the drill here, folks. You just clip your, um, your tripod, your camera right on, open it up. So we're going to screw it on here and give you guys a first look. Get it on here. Like so, screws right in, right on. And I'm, I'm going to love it. I already know I'm going to love it. I'm going to love using this thing because of the creep problem I was mentioning. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I can move, uh, once I get this on my, once I get the camera on there, I'll move the table out of the way and maybe y'all be able to see it a little bit better. Since I'm in the garage, I just move things out of the way and I need to and get a little closer to the camera so maybe you guys can see a little better. Camera right on there. Make sure it's in. Tighten her down, and she's not going anywhere. And the way these geared heads operate, they have um, turnings, and they're geared inside here. That's why it's called a geared head. Ha 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 ha! And what you do is, once you once you got your your uh, subject in focus, you use these knobs like this one here, you can see the camera is giving us this way and this way. And it is not, it's not going anywhere. I mean, these, these feel solid. It's not moving at all. And to test the fact, I'm gonna turn my camera on Of course, you got to take the lens cap off, and I'm just going to see 
Uh, I would. You guys can't see that, I know. I would have to get the camera uh, focused down in on, on the screen here. But as I mentioned, you're trying to, and you can, these orange rings here, they're spring loaded and you turn them and then you can do it, then you can go fast. This one is the uh, panning and then it locks it in when you release it. This one here is the up and down and then you release it and it locks it in. This one here is this way and you release it and it locks it in. Okay, so say I'm trying to, I've got my subject in, in focus in the, in the lined up where I want to be. Um, and then all of a sudden with the other ball heads, you, the, the lens would creep, camera would creep on me. With this one, I'm lined up on, uh, can't see it. Maybe you can see a little bit of it, the uh, mower blade or the mower handle right there. It's lined up on that. My focus point is right on that. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna zoom in a little. I'm gonna focus on, you guys probably can't see it, but uh, the little green start button on the battery operated mower there. And this is so cool. It gives you, it gives you complete control of minute movements up, down, back and forth. Okay. That is sweet. Love it, love it, love it. I knew it would be exactly what I wanted, what I expected, and it is. So there's no creep at all. And with the ball head, I mean, I would almost, I know it's gonna happen, I would take this off and put that ball head back on and let you guys see what it does. But, but you photographers out there, you know what I'm talking about um, with creep on ball head, um, on ball head, a tripod. Um, Whatever these are, <laughs> tripod ball heads, ball heads, uh, they just creep. And uh, my lenses, now I probably wouldn't say if you had a, a um, camera, you know, a little small camera or something with no weight or nothing, I'm sure you'd be fine. But my lenses are big and heavy and I've never been able to stop prevent creep but now with this fine looking three-way bald head from concept K and F concept I shall not and it has it has little gauge gauges you can see your zero if you want to put it on zero, you'll know you're right on zero. And there's a level right here on top too. But when your camera's on there, you can't see it. So I guess you get your level first to get it all set up. Usually I don't worry about leveling it up because I always um, I'll straighten my horizon in post, but sometimes I will level it off on the tripod. The tripod itself has a, well, the tripod head it has a level on it too on the side. It has two of them, which is nice. Um, the k and F, I just see one on the top. So there's no level on the side, which is okay. Uh, I don't think it's, it's not nothing for me. It don't concern me at all that it doesn't have. It would be nice if it did, but it don't. So, And I knew it, uh, I knew it didn't have them when I was researching it. All right, so... Next will be probably uh, maybe adding to this video or maybe I'll 
um, in order to keep it from being too long. I'll, I may do a separate video of it out in the field or out in the yard here. <laughs> Maybe not out in the field, although I would like to get to that waterfall that uh, I was showing you guys in my last video. And um, my wife commented on it and she said, boy, you could really tell that I was nervous because um, I wouldn't go any further because of the snake. <laughs> uh, you could probably notice it too. Go back and watch it again if you haven't. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. If I, if I add to it, um, I will. If I don't, I won't. But anyway, this is the KNF uh, Gear Drive Three Way Head. GD3W KNF concept. And uh, not only is it nice and sturdy and well built, but it looks super cool. Don't you think? I think it does. All right, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.